Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> we have our friend Vader here today. He got a haircut this week. Um, so we just wanted to show him. He loves when he gets a haircut. We think he's super cute when he's so fluffy and furry. Uh, but he loves when he gets a haircut because then he's so cool and he's just been a really happy guy lately. So yeah, we wanted to share that with you. But we also wanted to share something else. We got new neighbors this week. Yeah, a new family moved in next door, and we don't really know anything about them. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. So we thought we kind of want to find out some things about our neighbors. So we did something a little sneaky, maybe a little crazy. We took some of their trash, and we're going to go through it with you guys right now to see if we can kind of get to know them a little bit before we introduce ourselves. So we have some right here. Let's see. Ooh. You want to hold this? Show them what that is? That's a Snickers bar. It's actually one of my favorite candies. So that seems like they're pretty cool people so far. And this is a... A whatchamacallit. A whatchamacallit? I've never had a whatchamacallit. They're really good. And... So, so far, these neighbors are... Yeah. I... So what do you think? They like candy. They like candy. Maybe they have a sweet tooth. And yeah. you like these candy, I this do. kind of candy. So I don't know. Maybe you guys will be friends. What else is in here? Oh, wow. A PS4 game. Yeah, it's a family fun pack. It has some Monopoly. I love Monopoly. Me too. And yeah. Scrabble. So, Risk. so it looks like they have a family who plays video games. Yeah, and they enjoy some of the games that we like. Yeah. Yeah, so I bet they have kids. That'll Maybe. be fun. They can play with our kids. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. This is a wrapper from a seed starting kit and an empty pack of pea seeds. It looks like they're gardeners, too. Yeah, that's cool. I love some vegetable gardening. Maybe they'll share some of their vegetables with us. I hope not. <laughs> Mr. Wall doesn't like vegetables. Oh, and look. I have doggy bags. Doggy poop bags. So I guess they have a dog. That'll make Vader happy. Good thing we're getting a haircut. <laughs> yeah, so he can meet his new neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So we learned quite a bit from this bag. We learned that they probably have a dog. I mean, why else would they be getting poop bags if they don't have a dog? We learned that they have been doing some gardening, that they have a family who likes to play games, that they have a sweet tooth. So, what we just did was we used inferencing to get to know our neighbors. Now, we're going to be honest, this isn't our neighbor's trash. We know our neighbors, <laughs> and we have not gone through their trash. But we wanted to do this activity to show you that sometimes we can use clues and our background knowledge to make inferences, which is like drawing conclusions about something that we don't know. And we do this a lot when we read. Um, we use pictures. If our, if our book or story has pictures, we use some of the details that the author writes in the text. And we also use our own background knowledge to kind of put together some pieces that the author doesn't clearly just come out and say. So we're going to be doing some inferencing activities this week. I'm not going to ask you to go through your neighbor's trash, so please don't do that at home. That's not okay. It's gross and kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but we just wanted to use that as an example of how you can use uh, some details, some background things, some background knowledge, and um, some other things to kind of put together the pieces and make some inferences and draw some conclusions.